Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report. I want to start things off by letting everyone know that now through July 3rd, any new or gift subscription to the Fisherman Magazine gets you a special free gift, a free Master Angler Fluke Fishing Book. This applies to new or gift subscriptions only, and the Fisherman Magazine makes the perfect Father's Day, birthday, special occasion, or just because gift for that fisherman in your life. Now moving on to the fishing forecast, starting off in Connecticut, bass and bluefish are the most consistent by inside Long Island Sound right now, and rock and roll charters out of Clinton has been doing quite well on both species. However, Captain TJ reports he's also been targeting fluke this week, and he put his clients out of some really nice fish last few days, including the 22 and 24 inchers landed by Martin Eisner on Wednesday morning's outing. I also got word of some much larger bass in the sound this week, and Captain Bruce on the Otter has been delivering his killer otter tubes and otter spoons to some real hefty bass. Wednesday saw a bunch of fish into the high 40 inch class fall for his spoons. Uh, with all the bunker around in the sound right now, this is as good of a method as any for the coming weekend. Captain Bruce's trolling lures and tackle can now be purchased at some of the local tackle shops, including Rivers End in Old Saybrook and AW Marine in London, so be sure to head out and pick some up before you go onto the water this weekend. Over in Rhode Island, bluefish have begun to filter in throughout South County, but they seem to be mostly on the small harbor size and not those monsters we had been hearing about off of Long Island and New Jersey for the last few weeks and get kind of hoped that it would move into the area. I received a picture of one of several small choppers landed off of Kwani this week, and I got word that they have been landed basically throughout most of South County beaches and on up into the Pocketuck River in the last few days. A few larger bass have also been landed in that same area from the surf, as well as by kayakers fishing around the bunker spools that have been spotting off the beaches as well as up the river. And then the bass bite over Narragansett Bay continues to hold strong, and BJ Sylvia of Flippin' Out Charters said that the topwater bait bite remains downright excellent. There are plenty of bunker in the upper bay, but the larger bass seem to be holding in the lower stretches near the mouth from Gansett on across over to Newport. Some decent fish have been allowed landed on live baits, but lures fish somewhat away from the primary schools of bait is a better bet for right now. Then up in Massachusetts, some decent fluke are starting to show up in Buzzards Bay to go along with the great catches of scup and black sea bass, and subscriber Henry McCone checked in this week with one of several fat fluke that he landed while fishing in Buzzards Bay. We should also hear some larger flukes starting to pop up around the vineyard in Nantucket any day now, as this time frame generally produces some real doormats. And moving up north of Massachusetts, just because cod fishing is closed in the Gulf of Maine, it doesn't mean that there is no fishing to be had for northeast ground fish. Our friends at the Yankee Fleet in Gloucester have been loading up on big haddock, redfish, pollock, and cusk, and they even landed their first halibut of the season last week. Unfortunately, it was sublegal and it was quickly released after the picture was taken, but it's still a great catch nonetheless. The bite has been red hot and shows no sign of slowing down, so check them out for single day, overnight, and multiple day trips in the Gulf of Maine. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.